What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Garrett, I'm a full-time seven-figure Amazon seller. In today's video, we're going to be talking about storefront stocking and how we can stock other seller storefronts to find profitable products for our own Amazon businesses. This is a great way, especially for those of you out there just getting started with online arbitrage and retail arbitrage, to go ahead and find some good product leads that you can go out and either purchase from an online retailer or actually go out to the physical retail store, purchase these products, send them into Amazon, and flip them for a profit. So I don't want to waste any more of your guys' time. Let's hop on into my laptop and I'll show you guys how it's done. Alrighty guys, the first step to this process is identifying brands that are only sold at a specific retail store. Now the reason we want to do this is because we want to identify Amazon sellers that we know for a fact have to be purchasing a lot of their products from specific retail stores, right? We don't want to just start by searching up random products because we might want to we might find wholesale sellers, we might find um, other type of sellers, we want to know that these sellers are either specifically buying these products in store or from the retail website. So to give you guys an example, I can do a Google search like what brands are only sold at Walmart, right? And this will let, lead us to sellers that have purchased products from Walmart to flip on Amazon. And that likely means they have other products that they've purchased from Walmart to flip on Amazon that we could potentially sell as well. So a list of Walmart brands, you could literally go to Wikipedia and see all the brands that are only sold at Walmart. But to make it easy, super simple, let's just go ahead with Equate. We know that is a brand that is kind of like a Walmart private label brand. So we're gonna go ahead and type in Equate right here. <clears throat> As you can see, there's a bunch of products that come up. Um, you can actually try and see if any of these are profitable. But what I like to do is I identify a listing. I really like these listings that are the higher priced ones. There's typically more profit margin in them, especially if they're still ranked good. So this is a decent rank in health and household, not the best. Um, if it was profitable, I definitely would purchase this. <laughs> So we want to click on the listing and open up the list of sellers who are selling this product. We can see already that there are seven plus FBA sellers, which is a good sign. So what I like to do here is I open up the sellers list and I'm looking for sellers that have feedback. Um, typically over a hundred, a couple hundred, a few hundred feedback. That tells me that they've done a fair enough volume on Amazon to know what they're doing and they likely have good and profitable products. So let's go ahead and skip these guys. We can click on the filter here and click prime. Uh, so we know that they're FBA. And see we have a few that pop up here. This and that sourcing. Uh, this guy has 16 in stocks, 591 ratings. We're gonna go ahead and open that link. Uh, this one, 92. Uh, we'll give this one a shot as well. Uh, 15 in stock, 3,200 rating. So this guy has been selling on Amazon for a while. Um, probably has a ton of different products. Might be doing a little bit of wholesale as well in case we want to search for some wholesale suppliers. That might be a good thing as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and open a few of these sellers storefronts. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to their storefront. We can see this guy has 17 feedback in the last 30 days. Typically guys, you can times this number by 150 to 200, and that's about how many orders this guy has gotten within the last 30 days. It's not 100% accurate obviously, but typically I'd say one out of every couple hundred orders I get a feedback. So that's kind of how, how I calculate these um, things. So let's click on his storefront and see what he's selling. We can see right here, I'm really gonna be looking for the higher price stuff because um, I can just look at certain things and tell that it's not profitable. Uh, these might be profitable, so let's go ahead and check this out. Blackstone, griddle seasoning, casting iron. Let's go ahead and click on our seller amp Google link. It's gonna pop up right here. Let's see if we can find it. Uh, this looks like it's at Dick's Sporting Goods right here for 10.99. So this is in fact, is this the same product right here? 1099 at Dick Sporting Goods, six and a half ounces. I want to reference back. This is indeed six and a half ounces. One bottle. Okay, perfect. This looks like the same product. This guy is selling it for 1895. I can see the lowest FBA offer is 1480. So we're gonna go ahead and skip this product. I can tell you it's not going to be good. I can tell you those aren't going to be good just by looking at them. Let's go ahead and check this lower price product right here. 
It's a three pack, but they're only three ounces. Lowest buy box, $9.99. We're gonna skip on that one. Let's go down here and see. The Works Classic Clean Toilet. I'm pretty sure you can get this at the dollar store if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's go ahead and check. Google. Yeah, so we can see that we can pick these up at the Dollar Tree for like $1.20 now, I believe, because it's not really the dollar store. Um, I believe that's the same exact. Is this a 12, 24 ounce? 24 ounce, two bottles. The low price is $12.99 uh, for FBA. Let's say we're paying $2.50 for this product. So we can see we're gonna make $2.11 before probably shipping it in. It probably cost, depending on how you're shipping it in, where you're shipping it to, I'd say anywhere from 15 cents to 50 cents a unit. So on the high side, let's calculate 50 cents a unit to send it into Amazon. So we'd still be making $1.61 and this is moving some decent volume at a 53% ROI. Um, I wonder if it's hazmat, I don't believe it is. <laughs> Um, and that's one thing you guys want to check too, guys when you're doing online arbitrage don't always just look at the lowest price seller look at the history see what it's been selling for because sometimes there's just one or two sellers that may have a few units in stock at that specific time and they're selling for way below what the market usually is uh, so we can see the market on this let's just go ahead and click data uh, buy box statistics this will give us a good idea of the average price point sellers have been selling this product for um, which is awesome here. Let's go ahead and see. Uh, so this guy, average price point of 13, 14, 12, 91, 12, 82, 13, uh, 12, 96. So that 12, 99 price point is a good average for us to go off of. Uh, so if we sold it for 12, 99, and we had our three dollar buy cost with shipping it in, prepping it, and everything um, on the high side, we're still going to make a dollar 61 a unit. And this listing is doing 1,270 sales per month. This is a fast seller. So I would definitely consider picking up this product. Uh, again, only $1.61, but even if you could sell 100 of these a month, right? That's an extra $160 a month profit from one product. Um, and you might be able to sell even more units. I typically like to stay above the $3 profit, um, but for listings that do high volume like this, uh, relatively high volume, I consider them and test them out and see how it goes. Uh, let's go back to this guy's storefront. Uh, this is a radio of some sort, some sort of woman's underwear. I like looking for the multi-packs as well. Um, members mark is going to be Sam's Club, so let's go ahead and see if we can source that at Sam's Club. Again, you have to have a membership at Sam's Club, but uh, a lot of times you can find like the Sam's Club listing and see. So we can see it's 988 is that for the multivitamin 50 plus, 988, 400 count. Uh, let's go ahead and put in our buy cost right here. 988, that's not going to be profitable. We're going to go ahead and skip on that. Bet you he's purchasing these from Walmart. I don't think these are going to be profitable, so we're going to go ahead and skip past those, but we can double check just to make sure. So we can see at Walmart, these are 328, uh, so we could be all in at 656. Uh, let's go ahead and check that real quick 656 so there's really not much meat on the bone here uh, but this is just showing you guys how storefront stocking works um, it does take a while to find a good storefront I'm gonna be honest with you guys but once you do um, you can find a pretty good amount of products uh, that are very profitable so this guy looks like a store seller or I mean a Lego seller um, tons of Lego stuff tell that's not going to be very good uh, let's go ahead and just check out this product right here glossy air go ahead and look over on Google see if we can find any for cheaper $18 in stock 18 bucks this is going for $24.77 uh, so that's not going to be profitable at that price but one thing to consider guys always be looking out for different sales maybe cashback coupons cashback rewards um, there's a lot of ways to stack discounts. Maybe they run 50% off sales every so often. Uh, so that's always things to consider. Uh, let's go ahead and look through a few more pages. All right, what can we find? This guy just looks like a pretty much a toy seller. So we're gonna go ahead and skip on him. Let's head to this person's storefront, OLL store, moving a decent amount of units per month. Scrub Daddy, that looks extremely overpriced for that product, I believe, because I can get it for wholesale. Yeah, buy box 9 dollars 
that guy's not selling any of those. <laughs> so let's look right here. Nestle Hot Chocolate Packets, 50 count, uh, $15.98. Buy box is very low. A lot of these pet foods, guys, you can make some good money. $21.80. Let's go ahead and see what we can source this for. People spend a ridiculous amount of money on their pets. $11.99 over at Chewy.com. This looks like the same product. Does look to be about six and six. Yep. So that looks like the product. So we could source this for $11.99 before any other discounts we could probably most likely find. So that's not going to be profitable. We're going to go ahead and skip on that. Let's go ahead and check out the Inky List 2%. See if we can find that. You can see which this is going to be 150 milliliters. It's at Kohl's for $10.99. This might be a profitable lead here. $10.99, we gotta make sure it's the same size. Let's go ahead and open this product and open up the Amazon listing. Uh, it's gonna be $10.99, it's only selling for $18.99. Sephora exclusive. So I can tell you right now, this product, if it's 150 milliliters, it's not gonna be profitable at $10.99. But one thing to note, guys, you can purchase 10% off Kohl's, uh, Kohl's uh, discount gift cards. You might be able to use this 20% off code. So let's go ahead and see if we can use that. And then also when they're doing Kohl's cash back, it's like 20% off. So you might be able to build in a profit to this product for an example. Um, but let's go ahead and just keep hopefully finding something for you guys here. Like I said, this isn't a get rich quick way of sourcing products but once you start finding some profitable ones it takes one product to literally uh, one product can make you a few hundred to a thousand dollars a month if you find the right product so that's what you guys have to keep in mind to stay motivated let's see here this guy not not looking like the best seller let's go right here maybe this stuffy nose stuff let's see if we can purchase this anywhere else for a cheaper price okay so this is at walmart for 712 this guy's selling it for 24.89 so at 24.89 21.07 is going to be the low fba seller so we're going to want to type that in right here 21.07 our buy cost on this is going to be too expensive not going to be profitable on that one guys uh, let's go to the Starbucks coffee hopefully we can find something here for you guys come on give me a winner give me a winner all right what, what do we have here see 1496 is a low FBA offer so we can see this is on clearance at Bed Bath & Beyond uh, it's out of stock currently, but if we were able to purchase this for $474, that would be a $388 profit. So we could go come over here and get notified when it's back in stock, hopefully for the same price, and potentially uh, pick it up. So that, that I'd save that as a lead for the future to come back to. Um, obviously we'd have to purchase it for that discounted price. And guys, as you can look up like brands that you've seen at these stores like Walmart, I've seen this Taco Bell hot sauce before. So I went ahead and looked it up at the current moment. Uh, this one is not available online, but let's go ahead and check out some of the other sellers on this listing. Maybe we can stock their storefront and see how this can go. Let's check out this smart duck guy. See if we can find some profitable stuff here. Uh, I've seen, the, and you're going to start noticing a lot of the same products on some of these sellers' listings, so it gets a lot faster when you know. Let's check out this Slim Jim here. <laughs> Selling for $21. The low cost is $19.99. Let's head over to Google. Uh, we can see we can get it for $9.14 at Walmart. We can likely order this for pickup, or we can pick it, just drive to different Walmarts and buy up a bunch of them. So $9.14 is our buy cost. On this one, uh, all in cost, probably about 25 cents to ship it in. We'll round up to 30. Let's say our all in cost is 950 with all expenses. 
We could make 235 on this Slim Jim. It's moving 834 units a month. There's not a ton of competition on this listing, so you could likely move 100, 200 units of this um, as long as the competition stays at this level. Um, and it doesn't seem like a ton of money, not the best ROI, uh, but products like this, you can fill up your uh, product catalog and they just generate a good cash flow every month, good profit, consistent, predictable profit. So that is how this process works, guys. Go ahead, give it a shot. Let me know down in the comments uh, how it works out for you guys. Thanks so much to all of you who made it to the end of this video. I hope you gained some value. If you did, definitely consider joining the family, hitting that subscribe button, leave this video a like. Let me know down in the comments if you've already tried this method before, if you had any luck with it. I know I have, um, but yeah, Definitely looking forward to putting out some more valuable content for you guys, so you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned. But other than that, guys, I'll see you on the next video.